glad to have you with us on this journey. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Clark Kellogg and Grant Hill. Allie LaForce is our reporter. On Friday, then on Sunday, the NBA. Clark, how nervous are some of the first-time players and coaches right now? I think first-timers are certainly nervous. The butterflies are flying around. You just have to make sure they fly in formation. Nonetheless, when you have your first taste of being an NBA player or coach, it's a special night because you only can do a first thing one time. Here's Simpson. Pass to Williams. Here's primetime. Jacks up a three. Gets the three ball to go. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. None with it. Clock at six. Three-pointer off the mark. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Prime time. Can't get it to go. It's never easy from that distance. But we see him drill those and shoot around all the time. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check. And was maybe a step out of his range. Stripped away. The teardrop. That shot missing. Nice D from Bridges. Knocks it loose and stolen by Williams. Here's the break. Another shot. Can't capitalize inside. You know, right now, they're just one for five. Rough start so far. Back to none. Five to shoot. Knocked away. And they're on the break. Williams' shot is good. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive play. To get back on track, there's the block. And Williams punches it home. But nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just I'm never I'm gives up. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something that needs to change and change soon. I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. All right, let's go to the leaderboard and see the top passing teams last season. Well, I thought this team last season was a team that had some beautiful dime. I mean, they would spread the floor with their ball movement and spacing and player movement. It was a beautiful thing to watch. Nice passes leading the basket. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. And there's a pick. Just five on the clock. Let's it fly. And he hits the jumper for two. And that ends their drought. You could feel the frustration building with each miss. Ooh, man, this thing was turning into a soccer game. A lot of action and not many points. Here's prime time. And stolen by none. And he lays it in on the break. Gone just three for seven here at the start. Here's prime time. None defends. And the shot goes down. 
five times. Got five. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. They set the pick. From downtown, Williams grabs the board. Gone four of eight and looking in control. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Personal foul, first team foul. At the line for your home team, Williams. Free throw drops for Williams. Littles checked in for none. And Williams drops them both. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Outside Little. Here's Bridges. Lays it up and in, despite excellent defense. What a display of skill. The defense was solid, but he finds a way. Bridges against Williams. Pass to Simpson. Oh, they get a hand on it. And stolen by Bridges. And he lobs it up. And the ball travels out of bounds. Turnover. Boy, that looked like a failure to communicate. You hate unforced errors. Shooting a solid 50% in the opening quarter. Down low. Here's Simpson. The rebound by Bridges. Two minutes. Three pointer. Little shot is good. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. 146 left to play in the first quarter. Away team foul. Dennis. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for two. The first free throw is good. No good on the second free throw. Shooting right around 57%. Very efficient so far in the first. And off there. He misses his first shot of the night. Gone four of nine in this one so far. We've got 123 left in the first. Inside. Well timed pass. And he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. Just owning the painted area. If it's working, no need to change. Outside love. Little, the screen. From nine feet out. That one, no good. Great defensive effort to lock down the paint. Impressive work protecting the basket. He held his ground nicely on that one. To the inside. Good setup. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. 41 seconds left in the first quarter. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go for the test. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. I mean, that's the message they were sending with that foul. Nothing easy inside. And he makes both free throws. Gone 6 of 11 so far. Here's prime time. Five points in the game. And the bucket is good. Prime time's got his third basket on the night right there. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunity. Five second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Outside little. They set a pick. Down to five on the shot clock. Off the mark there with a three. Gets it up. No 
good on the buzzer beater. And so the first quarter is in the book. Your home team. Up seven. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. just joining us we played through one quarter in this one and from what we've seen here from the home team what's your take so far you can really see the strategy coming in get the ball into the painted area yeah and it's work they've got a clear edge and points in the paint now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside to the middle here's love oh here's love with the jam his playmaking is something to watch. Threading that pass right in there. Covered by Little. To the left side wing. Here's prime time. The jump hook. No good. Three for six shooting in this game. Outside Little. Aggressive finish. Now, I'm thinking he's sending a strong message with that jam. That's exactly how you send it. Two hands and down. Pass to prime time. Wow! Oh, 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 wow. Got to have some guts and guile to take it to the bucket strong despite the big fella standing in the way. On the AT&T 5G slam cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter, shooting around 50% of the game so far. And here's Love. Six on the shot clock. Wing shot on the way. That one is off. Shooting around 53%, a nice number. And he lobs it up to the rim. It's tipped. And that goes out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Yeah, I love that they maintain the defensive energy even when they're behind. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. And prime time gets it to go. Very consistent tonight at the offensive end. Right there, he helps fuel the fire. Outside Little. And there's the screen. Let's the three fly. Bearing his second of three attempts. A total defensive collapse. I mean, no reason to allow him that kind of space from behind the arc. Down low. William shot is good. Williams has got eight. You have to be accurate there. Very little room for error passing on the interior. Second quarter play, almost three minutes gone here. Knocked loose. Here's Simpson, covered by Little. From seven, it's good. Off the glass. Simpson's got his first basket of the night. <laughs> Once he breaks out the crossover, you just know something special is about to happen. Outside none. Doesn't go that time. Gone four for six here in the second. Outside, Williams. Here's prime time. And the shot's good. Prime time's got six here in the corner. Soft defense. I mean, they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Six 
substitution on the court. All right, some time here to take a look at the 2K leaderboard. Here were the league's top shooting squads from last year. Tremendous efficiency on offense. They were willing to put in their work to get great looks. Gone three of five since the beginning of the second. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. I would imagine it's nearly impossible to not get fired up after that play. Grant, check these guys out on the bench. Their reaction says it all. They are fired up. And that's what those alley-oops will do for a team. Ignition switch ignited. Tipped. Now here's Little. Give him eight. Get there, get there. Big coming, big coming, big coming. It's Little on the wing. There's a screen. Shoots it from the high post. Yes, on the jumper. Little's got ten points in the game. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Here's prime time. He's got 13. Williams on the wing. Just five on the clock. Oh, he gets it to go. So far, he can't miss. He's four for four. Gotten five of seven shots to go in the second. Outside Little. To the paint. Here's Nunn. Takes the assist and lays it in. Nice setup. Nunn's got his second basket of the game. Terrific design and execution, leading to an opportunity right at the rim. Here's Simpson. Pass to primetime. Here's Simpson. Shot clock at six. One thirty-three left in the second. Williams against none. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. First personal foul. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. No question about it. I mean, a ton of contact and a good call by the officials. Bridges, he's checked in for little. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Gotten six of nine attempts to go in the second. Looking good. Fires it from 18. No luck on that one. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch. And the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. And we're going to have a jump ball. Jump ball violation. It will be a rejump. And he stays with it. Hit me, I'm open. Six to shoot. Fires the three. That one a tad off line, but it drops in for him. Shooting around 60% in the second. An excellent number. Pass to Simpson. Williams on the wing. He's guarded by Bridges. Picking up his second foul here. Has to be careful because they can pile up quickly. Into the lineup for your home team. Number nine. Number nine. Here's Simpson. Now here's Williams. Shot clock at six. Over to the left wing. With his first shot attempt. Count it. Tristan, number 23. 16 seconds left in the half. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the court. Yeah, they've got to hold for the last shot here. Goes up from the top of the key. That shot off the mark. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. And we're through the first half of play here in what's been a good one. Up four. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.
Glad you could join us. Brian Anderson and crew are ready to take it away for the start of the third quarter. through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. Last time for the first time in over a decade, Brent three-point attempts were down compared to the previous year. Why? Well, you wonder, Kevin, if things just redlined. I mean, how many more threes can you squeeze off? But let's give credit to the coaches. They're coming in with some different defensive philosophies and trying to do their best to take away the most advantageous three-pointers in the game. Dennis passes to none. Here's the screen. Prime time grabs the ball. And that was almost a block still did enough to alter the shot. Yeah, altering the shot just as long as there's a miss, that kind of energy not wasted. Corner shot. Epic counts. On time's got five points now this quarter. He just takes advantage of the D in a way that very few players playing today can do. Passes it to none. Bridges against Williams. Pass to Dennis. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires the three. Not going to go that time. Yeah, they're going to try to search out for somebody that's got a hot hand right now. One of four to start the half. And there's the call. It's going to be an illegal screen. On Friday, then on Sunday. Uh, that's going to draw a whistle every time down the floor. Not even close. To being a legal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. And Durbin Ham wants to call a timeout. One guy who's been getting it done is prime time. Well, I hope this one is not to draw up a play, but to think about how they're going to defend that man. He's putting up some major numbers. With this stoppage in play, we have a chance now to show you which teams led the league in three-point percentage last year. Everything clicked for them last year, especially on the perimeter, and they shot a very high percentage. A lot of that due to their offensive schemes. Third quarter of play with just over a minute and a half gone by. And the call will be against primetime. That's his first foul. And now let's take a look again at that incredible rejection. And a block like that sends a message. One that says we're not giving up this lead. Oh. On the wing, Bridges. Here's the pass to none. Yeah, starting the half here, one for five, and the offense might need an ironing out. Sends in the pass to prime time. Driving in. Misses from short range. Gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. Drops in the layup for two. He has six. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Simpson. Here's prime time. Six on the shot clock. Three pointer on the way. The shot, no good. Gone two of six from the field here in the third. From 13, there's the three. Tries again. And that's two points on the layup. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. It's a close game here in Toronto. Bridges against Williams to the paint. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. First personal foul. Nice work to get it inside and draw the contact. 
number 20. First one falls for. He hits both from the strike. A big fellow with the ability and confidence at the free throw line is something that every team wants. Don't have to make those late substitutions. Keep your big guys on the floor. Passes yeah, to Dennis. And there's the whistle. Illegal screen. Beyond the leaning, you could see his feet weren't set on that screen. Easy call. Got to hold firm or you're going to get a call. Third quarter action and just under three and a half minutes have gone. So the wing on the left. Here's prime time. In for another field goal. A sublime nine of 14 on the night. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. Pass to Dennis. Back to none. And that one hits back iron. Gone three to five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Here's prime time. Oh, oh my. wow! And that sort of showmanship is just deflating right now to a team trying to get back into a game like this. Ouch, Greg! That is definitely an emphasis jam, a big apostrophe or exclamation point, maybe even a question mark. Being just 33 percent in the second half so far. They need to look at more high quality shots. Now the pass to none. Just five on the clock. Got a piece of it. Wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Now Williams. He's got ten. And it's prime time missing. A steal, and here we go. Tries from ten. Bridges with the board. Bridges has got five rebounds tonight. Passes it to Dennis. Pass to Nunn. Trills the three-pointer. Nunn's got his third basket of the night right there. That's pretty much not how they would defend the three-point line. Somebody's got to shadow him out there. Here's prime time. Defended by none. Outside Williams. Let's it go. Bridges with the board. Bridges got six rebounds in the game. None passes to Dennis. They set the screen. Oh, and there's the alley -oop. Tries from 10, and that's good. Number two. Six points for him. And how's that? Four move the killer crossover. It's a thing of beauty. And Darvin Ham wants to call a timeout. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter of the game. He's covered by Anderson. Pass to Love. On the left block. No good on that one. Going even 5 of 10 on shot attempts in the third. The pass to Hammond. So Brian, it's good from long range. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. And the coach over there just asking for one simple thing, and that's some effort. Got burned on that one. Now here's Little. Ten points for him. There's 14 seconds left in the third quarter. Shot clock at five. They set the pick to the wing right side. And that one, good. Number seven, assisted by Little. He made it! He gets it to go! Wow! Wow! What a way to finish up the quarter. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly, take a chance, and somehow that one goes in. 
And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. They lead by 11. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter of action when we return. While we have the chance now, folks, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. You know, anytime a guy's in the post and the teammates know he's unselfish, great player movement can create an opportunity just like that. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. To the middle here's Hammond it's good they're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage now here's little pass to none they set the pick lock at six Shot from the top of the key. Count that bucket. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooters. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Here's primetime. Up and in on the layup. Primetime's got 24. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. A three off the mark. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. With the drive. Oh, yeah, just nice strength there and then just off First with the shot. Foul. First team foul. At the line for your home team. Two shots. First free throw is good. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Takes a three, and he's good on the three ball. That's just a lapse right there. No matter what, somebody has to be there and get a hand up in the shooter's face. The 10-footer. Little with the rebound. Gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter start. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. That shot off the mark. Yeah, and that was lining up to be a huge alley-oop. But they just couldn't quite connect. Yeah, you can see when it's that close, players react. He's just, oh, man, we just missed that one. Maybe they'll get another chance at it. Now here's Little. Inside. It's tipped. And they're moving it up. So Brian finish off the break and running with a full head of steam but completely under control yeah you think he's comfortable at that speed he's done it so many times before just an absolute blur in transition and that helps get the rhythm going now here's little pulls up on the wing he can't with the rebound o'brien the pass to simpson here's o'brien Simpson with the bucket. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Done with it. The train. Little can hit. Gone five of six in the field to start the fourth quarter on a roll. If you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. He gets that one. 
well-rounded effort, and, and they showed no signs of letting up. Coaching staff probably most proud of the effort of this team on both ends of the floor here tonight. Now here's Little. They set the pick. Six to shoot. To halt the run. Prime time grabs the ball. Prime time's got five rebounds tonight. O'Brien misses. In the fourth quarter, not pretty, down around 29%. Now here's Little. D right on him. Throws it up high. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh, and just a soft touch on both ends of that pretty alley-oop. I got to say, when he threw the pass, I didn't know where it was going. Home team. Kicks it to Williams. Pass to prime time. And a miss there on the triple. Gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. There's the pick. Now, here's none. Tight defense on him. Pass to Dennis. Releases just four to shoot. Yes. He sticks that one in from 20 feet away. Gone six of nine on their field goal attempt since the start of the fourth quarter. Prime time, the pass to Simpson. 139 left in the game. The kick out to Williams. Shot clock at six. Fires from deep. Simpson, no good. They've gotten just under 45% of their attempts to drop in the fourth or of nine. And here's none. There's a screen. A pass to Dennis. Here's the three. At basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. And no matter who it is, that kind of D isn't going to get it done. They can burn some clock if they want to. And get a little breather as well. Down low. And the shot goes in. This arena was rocking throughout the night. You, you could really feel the energy. A huge motivation. Always great for a young team, but... Veteran players also appreciate when fans come with that kind of energy and get into the spirit of the game. To the inside. Great positioning on the putback. You know we talk about it all the time, guys. Those second chance buckets, always the result of that extra effort. Seven second difference, shot in game clock. Here's Ruffin, drains the three-pointer. Finishing strong. This is how you want to close things out. Yeah, definitely putting a stamp on this one. A very, very decisive victory for the club tonight. Here's Dennis. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. First team foul. At the line for the away team. Dennis. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Here's Smith. So the home crowd happy here as they get the victory. Some good competition, but the hometown advantage and their ability to stay focused, I think, made the difference. Yeah, and the first step in becoming a good team is your ability to win at home. And they really seem to revel in that opportunity. And, and this is what they came out to do.
That concludes the first game of the NBA season. For Brett Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Primetime.